Hey guys, Gargush9 here with Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. In the last episode, we got through a bunch of crap. <laughs> what else can I say? But anyways, in this episode, I'm back at Vermilion City, and I'm going to be going back to Route 11, which we cleared out. And now I'm going to be going into here now that Snorlax is gone. But yeah, this is Diglett Cave. Pretty much not very badly changed from the last time. It might be a little bit smaller... But, uh, it's virtually unchanged. I mean, there are, in, well, yeah, there are Diglets here, and Dugtrios, I think. I do know when Harkle and Soul Silver, they actually give this place, like, a little bit of a dungeon kind of treatment. Alright, there are the repels. Um, but yeah, like, you can actually, like, climb up stuff and, like, get items and junk. But in this, it's just what it was in the first gen. Just a big old diagonal path. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man, free max revised. It's really a big roll of thumb in Pokemon. You see an item, uh, like, just something like that, just sitting right there, out in the middle of nowhere. This is usually an item. But anyways, here we are in Route 2, which has a slightly different song. Which kind of goes off of, um, well, one of the big changes in this place. But, uh, let's get some items first, because there's actually a bit to pick up here. And, um, yeah. There's stuff, because stuff is cool. Alright, yeah, there's this guy here. Well, I am glad to see you. You're the first visit I've had in a long time. I'm super happy. Let me give you a little present. Oh, cool. Nug oh, wait. Shoot. I guess I shouldn't have picked up that Carbos, huh? <laughs> um, let's just give you to you. Yeah, when made a pair of sex. Or actually, can I give this to someone? Um, no effect. Are you? No, no effect. All right. Um. All right. E you. All right. There we go. All right. All right. So now I should be able to get that nugget. All right. I think. I think how those work. Like they kind of like boost your IV or something like that. I don't really know a whole lot about that thing. That might be why I'm starting to run out of. Because I don't. I didn't give Umbra anything. I think. Or at least if I have, I've barely given him crap. Because he should have taken that thing. Alright, uh, let's see. Switch you in front, I guess. Because you're the weakest in junk. Alright, and... Oh, the repel went off. Yeah, I forgot about that. Alright, now, um, basically, how this route kind of operates. Uh, well, first I'm going to cut. I'm actually... I might just take on the the trainers here first, like, before I go into pewter. Because that's, that's the plan that I have for today. I want to at least get into pewter. But of course, this is pretty much indicative as the last time in this route. There are butt catchers and youngsters and junk like that. It's a bee drill. I haven't seen a bee drill in a while. I don't know. <laughs> uh, slash. Alright. Probably don't even need to waste it. Yeah, I don't need a. Oh, well, damn, critical hit. Ugh. It's kind of sus when you get a critical hit because you don't know if it was powerful enough or not. So when you have to deal with another one. I don't know, I mean, these are bug types, they're not the strongest in the world, especially since it's a bee drill. Uh... Oh, damn it, another critical hit! <laughs> Come on, just tell me if Slash is doing enough! <laughs> Alright, one more bee drill. Come on. Alright, let's see if I've been getting lucky or not. Okay, alright, so I didn't need a critical hit after all. Okay, there we go. I was fine all along, Ed. <laughs> ouch, ouch, ouch. Yeah, yeah. Alright, that was interesting. Um, you know what? Let's uh, go through this place first. Because I kind of want to show stuff. And but not to mention all the items are kind of along this path anyways. I cut? Yes, we do. Yeah, uh, in case anyone's wondering, I was kind of getting sick of running around with a se level 7 Paris. So I went and upped it to a pair of sex. And it's one of Professor Oak's aid, but unlike last time, he's not going to give us anything. Just tell us useless information that we already know. So, sad face. But, um, there is an item all the way down here. Elixir! Alright. Don't even use these items anyways, but... Alright, but, um, actually... Yeah. Kind of wondering why there are all these cut trees, but... 
Um, further south of a cor is, a co nah, is, of course, Viridian City. We're not going there yet, though. And another bad catcher, so we're going to be fighting him. And according to this, I'm going to be fighting another bee drill. Woo! <laughs> oh, bee drills everywhere. All right, this one's a little bit more powerful. Uh, let's see if uh, let's see if it slash will do it against this thing. Cause I'm still 17 levels up. All right, and I'm fine. See, I have to be careful just because ducks isn't you know known for its high attack power unless you do like swords dance or something like that. But I got rid of swords dance, so. I <laughs> Alright, I think I should be able to replicate. Alright, no issues. Got it. <laughs> uh, yeah, these... This is the more pathetic side of Kanto here. That was with. Yeah, who cares? You don't even get that much money. That's sad. Alright, uh, alright. Here's the last guy here. And this is the last of the trainers here, so I can uh, go up to Peter now, after this. And I don't know why girls don't like bug-type Pokemon, mainly because they're probably useless until, like, 3rd gen, and that's when they start getting decent. Then, like, 5th gen is when they just become... They, I, I feel so 5th gen, they made bugs godly in that one, because, I mean, you have Leavene, which is the grass and bug-type thing, which is, like, pretty much... Re nah, I didn't kill him. Which is pretty much a redemption of the whole Parasect idea. And then you have Venipede, which goes into Scolipede eventually, which is basically a beefed up version of, um, a Beedrill, which is actually a pretty, uh, pretty, like, intimidating Pokemon, I have to say. And then you have uh, Crustle, which is a bug and rock type, which is a pretty unique combination. And, um, did they introduce any other new ones? I can't remember. Oh, there's a lot of bug and flying types in between. Um, I didn't need to do that, because I'm gonna avoid this uh, grass patch by cutting back through. Alright, and, oh, I can just go through this one. Alright. Now, here's the big thing about uh, Route 2, which kind of explains a bit of the music. As you'll notice, the building for Viridian Forest is now gone. And so is the dungeon itself. And this... Um, oh, I don't need a dire hit. But this is probably one of the saddest things about... Is there an item? No. Alright. This is probably one of the saddest things that I, I felt about the generation, because they took out a lot of the dungeons that you had in Generation 1. I mean, I mean, the thing about this is that this whole little forest base that it's basically become, it kind of, it still kind of carries the general uh, shape that the forest has, and I thought that was going to have something. But I mean, it's nothing now, and like, this isn't the only place that's gone too, which, I don't know, it's just, it's a Viridian forest that just, to me, felt like the more tragic kind of loss out of all the other ones. Because, I mean, that was iconic. I mean, everyone remembers their time through Viridian Forest, so... I don't know. Anyways, Peter City. Welcome to Peter... What, that's it? Oh, that's lame. Uh, let me heal first. Alright, I'm all healed up and ready to go. Um, Peter City. There is really not a lot to do here, uh, besides pretty much cutting off the Mount Moon, which I will be going to. And I need to time that right, because there's an event that goes on there at Monday, and I want to time it right weekend-wise. Or week-wise. Oh, here's the thing. Stone Gray City. Alright. Kind of weird. Alright, here's this guy you need to talk to, though. Like, ah, oh, you came all the way out here from Johto? That brings back memories. When I was young, I went to Johto to train. You remind me much of what I was like as a young man. Yeah. Here, I want you to have this item I found in Johto. And receive the Silver Wing, which is what is the same item that you receive in Silver. If you're playing Gold, though, you receive the Rainbow Wing. And basically what it allows you to do is it allows you to challenge one of the legendary birds of the game. Well, one of the major legendaries of the game. For Crystal and Silver, it'd obviously be Lugia, and Gold would be Ho. Ho was a little interesting to catch in this game, though, but getting onto this... There's no museum in this! Yeah, it's closed for renovation, so... Yeah, no Old Ember this time, or Odd Ember, or whatever it was. Yeah, not much of a tragic loss there. Peter City Pokemon Gym Leader Brock. The po Rock Solid Pokemon Trainer. Anyways, mini warm Town with Peter City, of course. There's one trainer, one Pokemon, and then the leader at 41 to 44, and Rock-type is before. 
Now he does come up with a bit of a stronger team than last time though, and including the fossil Pokemon, which we won't be able to get on our own, which is actually kind of cool. Uh, Jim Strainer is the same as before, very straightforward, but you can't avoid the trainer this time, so you have to fight him. As for taking him on, this should be one of the easier gyms you have to deal with. I mean, it's rock type, they are slow, they have low special defense, so just bring on a water or a grass type, especially grass type for the fossils. And honestly, you will not have very much trouble with this gym. Alright, so, Peter City Gym, the first gym of the last game, which is, and this is gonna be like, what, gym 5 now? Let me see, 5? No, 6! This is the 6th gym I've taken on in Ganto. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many dedicated people, and just like Joe's gym leaders, who cares? Alright, so yeah, we can't avoid this trainer this time, we couldn't last game. But um, honestly, I don't really know why you would want to, because this guy's pathetic. I mean, battles could go on, uh, end up going on a long time. I love how they always kind of like hype how rock types are so strong and defensive, but that only really applies if you're bringing a normal type Pokemon to the party. I mean, if you bring a fighting type Pokemon, it's over. <laughs> And any special Pokemon you can take- wait, why do you have a Sand Slash? Huh? Well, alright, Sand Slash on Sand Slash action, guys. <laughs> oh wow, that didn't do as much as I thought it would. Alright. Alright, so keeping on with the theme of before, yeah, apparently they have ground types in this gym. Who knew? Alright, now that- hey, stop- don't copy me! Huh. He knows all my moves. Of course, he's my evil self, or maybe I'm the evil one because I'm the more powerful one. <laughs> Alright, I have to win these battles. Yeah, that's kind of what you have to do as a Pokemon trainer. <laughs> you know what? I don't really need Sand Slash for... I mean, I don't really need Elka for this battle, so I can probably... Well, actually, yeah, let's keep her friend. Well, wow, it's not often when we get a challenger from Johto. I'm Brock, the Peter City Gym leader. I have an expert on Rock-type Pokemon. My Pokemon are impervious to the most physical attacks. You'll have a hard time inflicting any damage. Come on. Seems to completely neglect to mention. Oh, there's another type of attacks that you can do. And we're weak to those. And I kind of like, kind of like that pose, actually. It's kind of cool. Alright, if anyways, uh, Leader Brock. He starts out with a Graveler. Level 41. Yeah, this is his weakest Pokemon right here. Um, yeah. Not much to say. There really isn't a whole lot to say because rock types are so easy to counter. Like, all you really need, like, well, I mean, they're not the easiest to counter, I suppose, if you're like, again, you're packing a team whole, full of, like, birds or flying, uh, I mean, normal types. Like, if you're playing a Nuzlocke, this might be a bit of a challenge. But anyways, he's going to start now with his first of the fossil Pokemon, which is Omnistar, the evolved form of Omanyte. I love how he, I just personally love how he actually uses the fossil Pokemon. I mean, that's a proper rock leader there. But yeah, rock and water type, 42. Of course, this means it's super, uh, it's extremely vulnerable to grass type moves. So yeah. I mean, it, it, it has a lot, uh, kind of the same weaknesses that um, quags are those, although they are vulnerable to electric types. Um, and, you know, they have their defenses, they have their weaknesses. Oh, well... Actually, this is probably the weakest Pokemon. I mean, they're the, he's the same level as Graveler, but it's Rhyhorn, guys. I mean, this isn't exactly the most challenging Pokemon in the game. <laughs> and trying to get Erica to level up. This should do it, I should hope. Yeah, Rhyhorn, not even gonna explain it. I mean, honestly. Don't need to. <laughs> Damn, Elvis' stats are actually pretty good outside of the special, uh, special stats. Alright, so anyways, here's the other one, and my personal favorite fossil Pokemon out of all of them, even the ones, like, as far as 5th gen, like, this is my favorite fossil, it's Kabutops, uh, Water and Rock 2, uh, the, th the, the gimmick about this thing, though, is that he does learn a few Grass-type moves as well, so that's kind of unique, and he's also supposedly fa- I think he's faster than Omnistar, but he's dead either way. I just like the Scythe hands, I'm, I'm a sucker for Scythe, so I don't know. And here's his most powerful Pokemon, which is his Shrine True Onyx. Yeah, level 44, this should not be any challenge. I mean, if it was a Steelix, it might have been a challenge, but... Nah. But you know, well, no, I think the levels are pretty much still the same from before. Who am I, I I'm used to Janine. I, I, I mean... Uh, whatever, Janine sucks. 
<laughs> Alright, Buck's defeated. Your Pokemon's powerful attacks overcame my rock-hard defense. You're stronger than I expected. Go ahead, take this badge. And we get a helping of money and, of course, the Boulder Badge. And so now we've actually caught up with... Now we're actually in the right... Like, the right kind of path. We got the original six badges. So now we're finally on track. <laughs> like, yeah, Blaine's gonna be the next one. Uh, spoilers. Alright, but anyways, yeah, you know, champ making that gym didn't give you much... No, it didn't! <laughs> oh, shoot. I love it. He actually makes sense for once. Alright, but anyways, this is Guy Christian Dive with Let's Play Pokemon Crystal, and in the next episode, I'm actually gonna be heading east to, um, I think, I think it's Route 3, I think. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna be going to Mount Moon either way. So I'll see you then, guys.